what's up guys this is Tech Zoo Sticky Skew this is Steve and I finally have a video of Froyo out for the HC Hero this is one of two ROMs that are out at the moment this is the CyEngine 6 build and then there's another one which is built off that which I may do a video on later if I think the differences are enough but for now I'll put both links in the bottom bar um, and I'll name them so you know which are which and this is the CyEngine Mod 6 so I'm just going to run you through what makes this the Froyo ROM so we'll quickly start with settings and I apologise for this quality you guys all know if you follow me on Twitter or you've seen a few of my videos that my camera has recently had some issues but you can see we've got Android 2.2 HTC Hero Sign Engine Mod 6 and we've got the standard Froyo home screen which you've probably been using some kind of replacement to mimic for a while and the draw is 2D but it's the Nexus styled sort of um, scrolling one the market works fine I haven't actually set it up yet but it does work fine um, everything works, headphone jack works uh, USB works, SD card mounting works the only things that don't work are the free features like flash in the browser that won't work um, you don't have the tethering option you don't have the wireless tether option in the menu which you should have if it's a true froyo and also the um, mass updating in the market is yet to be added there are a couple of little features that have been added for example you've got the search here which pops up with the much, deeply in much more deeply integrated search for the phone Another thing that doesn't work sadly is the live wallpapers. It gives you the option and the menu pops up, but if you tap any, you won't get it to load here. And if you just set as wallpaper, you get white and black screens and then it just flashes back to your default wallpaper after a while. But I'm sure that'll get fixed in the near future as the 2.1 ROMs were much less stable than this when they first came out. So we should be well on our way of getting a good 2.2 Froyo ROM in the near future which just means it's that a little bit easier if you're I know, lying in bed or something and it's nice to see that with each version of Android they're adding more in the sort of form of usability and customizability. another cool feature is the music player it's got a new full screen widget I'm just going to turn the sound down so I don't get sued and stabbed by YouTube but you can see that mimics your background which is nice and then that is also cloned as a widget um, with the full screen music widget as you can see there um, some of the really cool new features that they've added are on the lock screen so you've got an option to show a custom message and then you add one in, just do something click on tight to the camera so you just added that and now on your lock screen you see that little message pops up and then you've got a load of other options with regards to the actual lock This angle is a little bit difficult to work. So you've got four new options: non pattern pin and password. We'll just start with the pattern, which is the sort of standard deal that everyone's seen since the V1. But then you can now customize that with a number of options, which are all down here. Um, I'm going to do the biggest difference, which is if you untick use visible dots, and this just gives you a pane where you have to trace whatever your pattern is which is quite nice I guess that's going to make it that a little bit more secure if someone has no idea what to do you've then also got a pin which is just a standard four digit pin and you also have the password which just lets you mix numbers, symbols everything like that so 
you can make a really complex, very secure password for your device. As far as the differences from 2.1 go, that's pretty much where it ends. There's a market widget here, which you might not be able to quite see because the colour, which is new. The dialer is pretty much identical, but everything does work, so this is a very usable ROM, it's an everyday ROM. The only thing that you can't really do is game on it, which I guess quite a lot of people don't particularly do much on sort of an everyday to day basis. Um, also that's just my new battery life, I haven't really had time to test because I've only used this for a day or two, but it seems about the same as your sort of general 2.1 ROM. You can last a day without heavy use. Uh, and that's pretty much about it guys. So. Oh, the other thing vibrates a little bit dodgy. Sometimes vibrate won't vibrate, but everything else works really well on this. This is the Cyanogen 6 2.2 Froyo ROM for the HTC Hero. This is only for your GSM Hero, so if you flash or anything else and you break it, you can't blame me. Because I've told you, I'll also put that in the bottom bar. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, I'm saying um, because I'm going to. Ugh, I haven't really got anything else to say. And you can see how appalling the focus on this camera is and I will see you guys later with calling this ROM works fine you can sort of hold it there you can, as you can see I'm holding this in my left hand it will still work, you can hold it in your right hand hold it here, you can hold it like that um, doesn't seem to be any antenna issues with this ROM um, and indeed with this phone in fact most phones I think so you can sort of hold it any way you want which is quite nice, nice little consideration there